This is what a bad one-way bearing sounds like. Now you may notice a louder noise in the clutch. It may sound like a metallic sound. If you get down there closer, you might find that it is actually back in further behind the clutch. So go in and inspect your primary, your secondary, see if your belt is good. Check out this video right here on how to do that. If that's all good, you probably want to check your one-way bearing. So what does a one-way bearing do? A one-way bearing is going to give you a little extra engine braking. When you let off on the RPMs, it's going to help slow that engine down a little bit faster. Should you replace the one-way bearing? No, you don't have to. Do you need the one-way bearing in your engine to run? No, it'll run fine without the one-way bearing. You may notice slightly less engine braking, but that's about it when you let off the throttle. If my one-way bearing is bad, what do I do? Well, solution, take it out. Even though it is a $100 part to stick back in there, you don't really need the one-way bearing to run your ATV. So removing it's not going to hurt the engine, you're going to be fine without one. So check out this video here on my old 550, I took out the one-way bearing because it went bad. You should be good to go without it. So hope that helps you out. Be sure to like and subscribe down below if you haven't already. More ATV tips coming your way. I'll see you in the next video.